Hola amigos! Guess what time it is? It is time for episode 3! This has been out since Tuesday and it is now Sunday night. I have not been able to play it yet. I have been like, I need to play this every flippin' night since it came out, but uh, things just didn't happen that way. Life always gets in the way. Uh, anyway, so we're gonna play it tonight. It is now 10 p.m. on Sunday night. Tomorrow is Memorial Day. Uh, in here in America, so I have tomorrow off, so hopefully I don't like... I'm a night owl, so I should probably be up for the whole thing, so we should probably be able to do this in one shot. Um, so before we get into it, let me just do a little bit of recap of some of the choices I've made in case you're uh, just checking in. Uh, if you haven't seen this game or other people play it, I highly recommend you watch other people play it as well, uh, because it seems like it really the choices you make are making an effect on some of the gameplay. So, for example, uh, I did not... Uh, rat out Nathan. Um, I did everything that could have benefited uh, Kate, and in the end we were able to save Kate, which is the big thing. So Kate's alive in my playthrough. Uh, but because I did uh, not turn in Nathan, plus I did not... Um, oh, sorry, guys, my puppy's afoot, so she will be tap dancing. Um, and the dryer's going, so there might be a low buzz, but, you know, I, I don't have a professional recording studio, so whatever. But anyway, so, because I did not turn in Nathan, and I also took the blame for Chloe's pot. Uh, when it came time uh, to sit in front of uh, the principal, when I, I did the main choice uh, for that to put the blame on Nathan, uh, but because of the previous choices, I actually got suspended. Apparently that's kind of rare, because even if, you, even if you took the blame for the pot, but turned in Nathan, you wouldn't have gotten suspended. Nathan would have gotten suspended. So this is going to be quite interesting. Um, and after the, the main bit, we'll go through some of the pages of the diary, in case you want to read them. And while I'm doing that, we'll go through some of my theories about what's going to happen. Because um, I've been thinking about it a lot. But anyway, just that's enough. Blah, 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 blah. Let's get right into it. Girls Dermatores. In the previous episodes of Life is Strange. Whoa! We call film Little Pieces of Time. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! Don't ever touch me again, freak! It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> We're going to be sorry someday. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. You're my business now. That's and Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Please, get me out of here! Max! Nobody cares about me. Nobody. <laughs> What are you doing here, Max? Now, I know today was difficult for everybody. Miss Coffee, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Please, tell us everything. What the hell is this? Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. So it looks like they went with a generic uh, recap that could have worked for anybody's as well. Again, but we'll see what happens um, with all the choices I made last time. Come on, game. Load up. Load for me. So are we starting at night this time? I was expecting to wake up in my bed again. Like last time. It, it, um, I'm not really interested in doing a night level. Uh, that might be too scary. I, I don't do scary games. If this turns into a horror movie, we're gonna have, we're gonna have problems. God, it's gonna be like some Freddy Krueger or 
there's some shit like that that's doing everything. And we're gonna end up buying them. Oh no. I don't want it to be a war movie. No. <laughs> I don't know it's scary. Oh, it looks like she just fell asleep, asleep at her desk. Ugh. Well, I can't speak. Just FYI, if you've never seen my videos, I have I have a problems with the words coming out of my mouth. It, it is not good. Oh, we have the bunny. Hey! We have a pet bunny! Do we, are we gonna have to remember to feed that bunny every day? Like, like watering the plant? We've done very good watering the plant every day. Meet me in front of campus. Oh, great. We are going out I in the middle Chloe night. would be all over this. So I better get moving. Ah, uh, I think we'll take a minute to look at everything because that's what I do. I look at everything. What was the button to get into my menu again? Was it tab? Yes, there it's tab. Um, where were we? Is this about where I left off? I'm trying to find out. Uh, I'm not gonna read it myself. I'm just gonna try and I think we're around around here so I'm just gonna take a couple seconds on each page and flip through them so if you want to like pause your video and read them you can because basically just kind of sums up what you've done in the game in your diary um, and while we do this let me go over uh, a little bit about what my theory is about what's going on uh, so at the end of the last one it showed and for some reason I originally thought they were VHS tapes with the different girls name but their their folders are like photo album books uh, with different girls names on them next to a uh, an eight ball or what is that called it's called a highball glass I think it's called a highball glass of uh, scotch or brandy or some one of those other uh, bourbon-y type uh, alcohols and some unnamed pills I couldn't quite make them out so we don't even know if those are like the drugging people pills or anything like that but anyway so we see that and everything looked very meticulous and very put together uh, so I don't think those binders have anything to do um, with creepy Samuel um, <laughs> he's so creepy I kind of think those are Mr. Jefferson's like he makes photo albums of his previous students and I kind of think okay so I think there's probably two people like going around and drugging girls or like having inappropriate relationships with, I definitely think he's having inappropriate relationships with past students whoever his aide is and making like books of them and I think Rachel used to be his that's why he has that it doesn't necessarily mean he's the one that had to do with Rachel's disappearance but it does make him kind of suspicious I think those are his uh, but I don't think it necessarily has anything to do with why Rachel disappeared. Um, I do think Nathan was the one to drug Kate. Because uh, he's kind of like the one link between him and Chloe's experience. And also Rachel disappeared around the Vortex party. Um, so I think Nathan might have... I mean, there's some theories going around that, like, that I read that maybe Rachel... Uh, isn't even really dead like maybe she just like ran away or maybe she had similar powers to um, uh, Max and did some kind of weird like butterfly effect things and messed everything up and had to leave uh, but I don't really think that's maybe probably not what's going on um, I think Nathan probably went too far with her and I do think it's Nathan at least that, I mean that's kind of what I'm thinking I think it's, uh, creepy Samuel knows more <laughs> than most people on what's going on um, and but I do think Mr. Jefferson is having inappropriate relationships kind of like I don't know if anybody's like that's watching this has read the 50 shades of gray which is everyone's flipping watched the movie and read the books and everything like that but yeah they were okay books but anyway so the um, the one guy that the girl goes to work for um, has inappropriate relationships with his new hires and like blackmails them and stuff and it, it's kind of like I get the same vibe from him like he seems all cool and lures him in um, but I don't think he had anything to do with what happened to Kate uh, because if he had um, then he probably would have been a lot with that altercation him uh, and Kate had right before she tried to jump off the school building I think it would have went a lot differently because I think he would have been trying to keep her calm 
um, and keep her quiet if he had been the one to drug her. I do think it was Nathan um, that did things to her. Although it might not have been Nathan that actually put the drugs in the drink. You know, Victoria could have been, oh, look, <laughs> let's mess with the, the Christian girl and slip some roofies in her drink and see, watch what she does. But Nathan, I think, definitely took advantage of it. Although it's kind of interesting when she said she heard, like, um, like, a nice voice or something like that. I can't remember, quite remember what she said uh, when she was talking to us about it. So I think somebody else was there. Like, maybe he brought her back to the dormitory and, like, maybe creepy Samuel that has, has the calm, creepy voice was, like, trying to talk to her and then he went away and then maybe Nathan came in and did stuff. I don't know. It's, this is getting, like, kind of crazy. But I do think Nathan's the one that did, did that to Kate. I think Nathan's the one uh, that had to do with uh, Rachel's disappearance. I do think Rachel when she talked about like that she met somebody I do think that was the guy with the dog uh, but I don't think he had anything really to do with anything bad happening to her because he doesn't look like he would be stupid enough to be wearing her bracelet afterwards if he did okay I think we went through all that um, kinda good timing I just went through all the pages uh, Frank that's the guy <laughs> I am horrible with names I'm surprised I remember as many of them as I do what does it say look at this Samuel is not even considered like important enough to be on here that actually makes me kind of uh, suspicious like maybe he's it's like it's like that Simpsons episode where Bart wants to be a butterfly because nobody suspects the butterfly uh, so those are the pictures I got last time and then this time we are looking for uh, somebody we got a trophy or what I have no idea what that is it's like an action figure um, a squirrel, fish, uh, cigarettes are bad in K, a bird wearing something, it looks like it might be Chloe holding something, another bird, lots of birds, um, two peoples, a weird American flag, and an ant and a leaf. Okay, that's not very helpful. Anyway, <laughs> that's enough lamp rambling. Let's uh, go into things. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You had to, like, drag it's things around how happy awkwardly. Kate looks here compared to today. She was basically pushed up to that roof. And I will use my power uh, to find out why. I won't look at that because I don't end. need, like... I'm already probably going to get music that'll put a strike on my camera. Glad the media doesn't waste a second exploiting Kate. Uh, hmm. I already got it on. Besides Rachel, it's been a while since anybody vanished from Arcadia Bay. I shouldn't sound so disappointed. Well, it means that it's I sure hope an these people treat her incident. better when she comes back to school. If she does. Nah, that's just the way Either it goes. Either I delete my page or I block everybody. Nowhere to hide these days. Uh, be a back wall. Oh, everybody loves her now. We are like... Everybody will be talking about Kate cool now. cool kid of today. Blackwell might as well shut down for the next month. Uh, let's look at her plant. Oh, I'm sorry, Lisa. I saved Kate, but I drowned my own plant. We drowned the plant? We just watered it once a day. Here, look, we'll feed Are you. Are you a hungry bunny? Here, nosh on this. Are we going to get consequences? Is it consequences? Oh, apparently, there's no consequences for feeding the hey, rabbit, bunny. but there's consequences for watering the plant. Then I'll be catering to your every whim. Flip an A. Should we switch it on? Eh. Does it matter? If we leave it on, doesn't say there's consequences, unless it's not going to tell us anymore. Jeebus, I am so freaking tired. <sighs> I sound like a moron. But crime does not delay. Okay. I Anything need to stay on top of this investigation. Look at. We want to use the mirror. <sighs> Kate's okay, Max. Take a breath. Get your shit together. You have time. Do I? What? Let's look at my timetable. Let me Consult see which that. classes I won't be attending this week. Oh yeah, because I'm I'm suspended. So I got all the time in the world to just fuck off and do whatever. But really, I mean, I was at school for all of like the last episode. I must have ditched everything and just came back for whatever. I guess back for his class. So it must have been like a Monday or a Thursday. I don't know. But just came back for five minutes of class and then that was it. Flippin' A. Doesn't even matter if I'm suspended. I can just get into more shenanigans but this way without having to ditch class. Okay, time to sneak out. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... 
Oh, why does it have to have that music? I don't want a scurry girl. People, you don't understand. If you watched me play The Walking Dead, uh... We'll wait for Kate. Okay. Um, that is about the limit of my scary game. The forks. I think all this stuff is the same as last time. I don't think we can't go up there this time. We're just- Oh! What was the button to make me run? That's a depressing thought. And it's always about Victoria. Wherever you go- Wait, what was that? Did you hear that? Oh god, what the hell was going on? I said to be a scary. No, no, I don't scary. I hope you burn bright again soon, Kate. What? I can't even read that. That's horrible. It's, I, I, it's too blurry for me. I, and I have the resolution set. Oh, they have a barricade. Do they really need that crap on the door? Kate's still so much hypocrite. All oh, that everybody wants her to get well soon when they were the ones that drove her to wanting to kill herself in the first place. No but well, that wasn't like that before, was it? There was like a button. Was it the shift to run? Oh, I just hit cap locks, not shift. Ugh. What the hell? What the hell was that? Oh no, it's scary aloud. I need a better keyboard too. This one's really noisy. Oh. Somebody's just brushing their teeth randomly. Can I talk to her? Hey Max. I saw you go up on the roof and save Kate. I can't believe she tried to jump. Hmm. Let's, let, uh, I think we're trying, wasn't this the girl we were trying to like, try and buddy up with yes, last time? I think so. Let's I try can. and buddy with her. I'm just so glad she didn't. Are you okay? I'm just like shocked. I've never seen anybody try to kill themselves before. Me neither. I didn't think you'd be so upset considering how much shit you and Victoria gave Kate. I'm my own person, not Victoria's bitch. Hello, like she's freaking too. She already broke curfew tonight. <gasps> shit, I'm not supposed to tell anybody. Um, I won't say a word, but where did she go? <laughs> where did she go? I know I can trust you since you were so nice asking about my mom in the hospital, but Victoria will like make my life hell if I blab, okay? No doubt. I do hope your mother gets better. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks. You're like weird, but pretty cool, Max. Especially after watching you go up on that roof. Victoria's wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. That's a nightly ritual? Um, it's saying I had, what, what did I have to press? The control button to go back? That comes up when you can, like, get new options to do stuff. Is there something else I can say? Hey, Max. I saw you. Yeah, yeah. Ugh, do we just want to... It's going to make us seem all, like, creepy, like we know way too much. I know. Victoria must be upset since I saw her sneaking out of the dorm past her. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, man. Like, you saw her? She was so, like, nervous when she left the dorm. She wouldn't even tell me where she was going. Probably to hell. Well, I have to go crash. <laughs> it's been a rough day, as you know. Thanks, Max. And it was, like, pretty awesome when you went up to the roof to save Kate. Victoria was wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Okay. Talk to you later. Um, I think all of those dialogue options were a little bit douchey on my part. Um, like, I know we're upset that other people were mean to Kate and all, and that she tried to kill herself, but still, it doesn't make things better by being a douche to other people, but, um, I don't know what the point of be coming up front about we know that she's gone and rewinding time other than, um, it's just kind of creepy that we know everything now. I hope Victoria feels particularly shitty about posting that link. I take it Map it, uh, Max is particularly, uh, PO'd at Victoria at the <sighs> Victoria moment. Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time going through her shit. Oh, so we have an option to go into her room now. Hmm. Shall we take it, since we know she's not there? Might as well. We can always rewind. Oh, we're so gonna get caught in here. Flip 
company. I have a feeling it's not gonna show Since me. Since I've crossed the line from Snoop to Detective, I might as well search for clues about what really happened to Kate. Those boots are made for walking runways. Okay, so uh, this is a thing. This is just These what's socks happening. cost more than my wardrobe. Yeah, I'm a cheap sock person. They just get eaten up by the dryer anyway. No need to spend real money on them. I'll title this one, Portrait de la Assholes. Uh... Whoa, there's Kate. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. Hmm. Because I don't think we ever watched the video. Huh. Here they are getting loaded with Satans. Ooh, the trash. That's a lot of yes. paint just to clean paint from a sweater. Oh, it's her dry cleaning bill? $30? Actually, I don't know. If it was covered in paint, Victoria's it's not secret. too bad. She's a geek. Ooh, it glows in the dark. Let's use her computer. Oh, wow. Victoria and Taylor actually show remorse. I'm just avoiding some lame-ass science homework. How can anybody do fucking homework after somebody almost jumps off a roof? Uh, I can't believe... We all saw it live. It was like watching a reality show and I've never seen the campus so quiet like everybody's hiding or afraid. Yes, I feel like total shit for everything I said about Kate and that stupid video. Let's get some peeps to meet up later. This girl needs a serious curfew cocktail. We'll drink to Kate. And then Taylor said, what a trip that was today. See, Max and Kate like that. I need a drink too. Let me know the time. Um, so, see, I don't think... I know everybody's, like, hating on Victoria and everything, and being a bully isn't cool, but she seems like the kind of bully that's doing it because she has some insecurities herself, and she feels like if she teases other people, it'll make her feel better. I mean, just because you have money doesn't mean that you're a happily adjusted person. Um, so I try not to rag on her too much. Sorry, guys, just had a little, have a little water. Um... And I think this this uh, game is all about, you know, seeing people in a different light or breaking stereotypes. Although there are still a lot of stereotypes in this flippin' game. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> so I know I might be a little bit controversial here, but I don't really think she means to be as bad as she is. First Rachel and now Kate? This is the end of the Vortex Club. And I've known quite a few people that were quite the bitch in high school that really turned out to be awesome people uh, in later life. The point of view is right. Thanks to Courtney Wagner ghostwriting this paper. Excellent. Well-researched essay with Eugene. Oh yeah, that was that girl that was walking off that I tried to follow that one time. Um, that is not acceptable, though. Cheating. Cheating is not the answer. I have... Very glad Nothing to say to I've here. never, ever, ever cheated Victoria in my whole life. Victoria is about as street as me. But she but, really appreciates style. I don't know. I understand why people feel the need to cheat, but uh, really, it's not good. Whoa, I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the Chase space. Color me impressed. Uh, didn't we look at that before? At one point? Um. So, if we leave and... Well, one second. Let me just take one last look. I mean, because we didn't find anything in here. There was like... Let me make sure I like rub up against all the angles. You just gotta rub everything. Because that's how these games work. It's like flipping old school adventure games where you like pixel hunt all over the screen. You just gotta gyrate crazily against everything until you find something. But there was like nothing. Okay, so there was nothing in here and nothing to take. So we'll leave, and then, because we can rewind time, we shall, and what, shift made it go faster? We're gonna go all the way back. Yes, all the way. All the way. Okay, that should be all the way, I think. Oh. Um, let me get, let me get. 
So we did our conversation with her. I think I might have accidentally undid the conversation with her. Um, let's just make sure. She should be still in here having her anxiety attack. She doesn't look like she's having an anxiety attack. Yeah, we're just looking at her. Jeez. Taylor actually seemed concerned about Kate. Most people are. Most people don't really want to be that viciously mean to somebody. They just can't help it. It's human nature. Uh, we've seen all these posters. Um, let's just see what's hey, on our slate first. Dana's really hurting over this. Um, yeah, she wanted to talk to me? Shall we look at your paper ball first? This is both sad and this pathetic. This is still here! It's the flippin'... It's totally the Fast Times at Ridgemont High thing. They steal a lot of things from other, like, yes, iconic the Vortex Club movies and shows suck. and stuff. Which makes it kind of cool, but... Still, you don't need to have that energy. She should have emptied her trash by now. We're, like, on day three. Come on, people. Let's use it. I love that Aww, you can just use other Trevor people's computers. Good for Dana. Um, uh, Trevor to Dana. Hey, Dana, I've been thinking about you all day. I know how hard it was for you to see Kate almost jump off the roof to get today. Glad that Max swooped in like a superhero. I don't have anything deep or smart to say. I just want you to know that you're a good friend to Kate, and I wish she had more friends like you. You have been so good for me when everything else is so fucked up, and I am here for you always. I miss you, Trev. Um... And then she said to him, thank you so much for thinking of me. I keep seeing Kate on that roof, and I feel like I should have done more to help her. Max did more than anybody else to save Kate, and I don't even think they're BFFs. You're bad friend forever. So happy you're thinking about me. I can't wait to see you tomorrow, and you're just so good for me as you think I am for you, dreaming of you Dana tonight. Dana talk to Juliet about this? She's going to wish she didn't. Uh, Juliet to Dana. Dana, I hope you're doing uh, okay after today. I don't want to bother you, but I'm writing an article about Kate for the paper, and I wanted to know if you could answer just a few short questions. It seems like there are too few answers. Let's talk when it's convenient for you, Kay. Why are they asking her? Um, where I came, still a little shaken up after today. I think you'll get too many answers so soon that after what happened today and many... Maybe it's better to keep a low profile for the moment. Kate deserves some privacy for a change. Yeah, for sure. Um... I, it, it is quite interesting that nobody has like a password to get into their computer. You can just rummage through everything. So let's speak to her. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. Huh. Um, she was depressed. Blame. No, we're not going to blame Victoria. Um, she was depressed or we're all responsible. I. Hmm. She was depressed, but let's bring up to the point that it's everybody's responsibility to take on uh, bullies and be good to one another and all that jazz. I think jazz. we're all responsible for what happened. True. But you're the only one who went up to that roof with Kate. Uh... We don't... I mean, we know why. Because it was unlocked and... But maybe we should get some info. We know where everybody was, but why was she on the roof? So why do you think she was on the roof in the first place? Maybe Kate was so ashamed she got wasted on that video. I don't blame her, but it was pretty gross. Come on, you really believe that Kate Marsh wanted to get drunk at a Vortex Club party? So what exactly are you saying, Max? Does this have something to do with why you got suspended yesterday? Tell me the truth. Yes, let's tell her. Um... I'm not sure yet, or it's complicated. Uh, we'll just say we're still trying to figure out all the details. I'm not sure yet, but I'm on it. Weird shit is going down at Blackwell, and I'm going to find out why. I'm getting scared now, but people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Well, we Victoria, know Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. Yeah, if we're already suspended, it's like, whatevers. Whatevs, we're just gonna sneak out of this place, blow this popsicle stand. What are you gonna do, send me to public school? That is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. Yeah, it'll make her feel better, but I think it's still like, we're at the beginning of October, so it's still quite a bit away. And time goes so much slower when you're younger. Wait, did we already look at that? I think so. I think we did. I 
I think we already looked at that. Uh, we didn't look at this one. God, it's so pixely! It was basically saying things, good things about Kate. Because everybody's j gotta jump on that bandwagon. Well, okay, so I think I looked at everything here. Um, it doesn't let me look at the trash can. I don't think I missed anything. Watch, I probably missed, like, some secret ass thing. I always do. I always miss it. There's always something. I try to be so diligent looking at all the little corners, and I always miss something. Erg. Ooh, fireflies. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. So one of the pictures was fireflies. Uh... So in front of the main hall, yes, yes, yes. But there's things to look at. We have to go try, try and find uh, Creepy Samuel again. Is it Creepy Samuel? He's just so creepy. He looks like the girls that are like oh, the prisms. It's unlocked. I hope Samuel isn't around. Oh. Oh, can we really get into it? We still can't go into that door. I feel like that door is very important. Like, it's endgame shit right there. Like, behind there, we're going to find all the bodies that Samuel has piled up. Flippin' A, that's gonna be like the... I know I keep saying it's Nathan, but it, uh, it would not surprise me in the least if it ends up being Creepy Samuel. Who knew Samuel was so into runway fashion? He's not! He's creepy! He's, he's just way too creepy! Is there you more girl Samuel stuff? Samuel doesn't wear silky scarves. So, who does? Either he's being a pack rat, he says like a squirrel is, is his uh, spirit animal, but maybe it's a rat because he's got all kinds of stuff. Clo oh, Chloe. I know! You can say whatever you want. It doesn't matter. I am going to be... It, it, that's not how these games work. I can take as much not time as simple. I want. Like my grandpa's grew up. Nothing but tools. So he either likes to squirrel away all the things he finds, or he's just incredibly creepy Nothing and keeps here. all the mementos of his murder victims in his flippin' little shed. Like, flippin' A. He's flippin' Creepy. Creepy. Creepy Samuel. Oh, there's the squirrel. Okay. Okay, squirrel. We're gonna take a picture. Oh, where'd you go off to? Do we have to do the trash thing again? Or do we have to wait till you go away? Or did I... Did I... Did I miss the opportunity? Can I get you to come back? Yes. Do I have to angle this, like, just right? Oh my gosh, it's jumping! Look how cute it is! Very slowly. Very slowly. Very so No, don't go! No, don't run away! Oh, you know what? You know what? We'll just stay here. And there's the squirrel. He won't even know. Oh, 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 oh! Almost got it! Okay, he don't even know. Photo. There we go! And say ha ha! I am smart. I gotcha. figured out a puzzle. I feel brilliant now. Ho ho! I am using the game uh, mechanics to solve puzzles. To take pictures of squirrels. Samuel will be so happy. Uh, broken lamp? Do we, do we look at it? Maybe Samuel should fix that lamp. Um, maybe he should. Maybe. Uh, we've already looked at that totem, although let's go back into our pictures real quick. I already forgot what we're supposed to take pictures of. Um, well, looks like we already missed something, unless it goes this way. Maybe it goes that way and we haven't. Um, <laughs> I know I'm gonna miss things. I always do. Uh, is there anything else to look at around here? Um, we'll go a little bit longer and then I'll, I'm gonna break this up into little videos. I'll try and find natural spots. It's like, oh, I get videos... The most magical insects. Yes, Burn yes, bright. yes. Uh, owes the money. Pay up, bitch. Hmm. Rachel owes money, too. I wonder if the guy with the dog did have something to do with it. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, Wells. Oh, are you serious? I'm, I'm toast if he sees me. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. What? Um. So I don't want him to see me? How do I do that? Blackwell almost lost another student. I wish Kate Marsh would just skip town. Now I have to deal with more pissed off entitled parents who want to blame me for their mistakes. Is he like flipping drunk or something? I 
wonder if we can sneak up around the other way, but look, it looks like we can go up to the totem now. I think I tried this before and I couldn't get up to that thing. But, can I get up to it now? No, still doesn't let me. So I guess we gotta sneak around wherever it's dark? Does this broken lamp have something to do with it? Oh god. I was so brilliant with the squirrels, but now I'm just gonna be fucked. I'm not gonna be able to figure this out. Um... <laughs> we just walk around this way? Being all stealthy. Miss Caulfield, you have to be stealthier than that. He is fucking you're drunk. You're not supposed <laughs> to be outside your dormitory at this hour. Plus, you're on suspension. I, I, I'm sorry, Principal Wells. I'm still tense after I thought Kate was going to jump today. I just needed some air and space to walk. No, no explanations. Seeing Kate come up on that roof... Then seeing her come down with you, you saved her ass. <sighs> Maybe saved Blackwell. Now don't get cocky. Going back inside. You earned good dreams. Great. So how do I get past him to meet Chloe? Oh. Let's go past when we talk to him. I want to go faster sometimes. I don't want him to even see us. And we'll just like sneak around. Nope. Flip an A. Do we have to have him talk to us? I, I was trying to like rewind time. And then it goes straight into this conversation. Ugh. Um, oh, maybe Chloe has a solution. Hello? She's trying- I know! Um, what do I do? What do I flip and do? How do I get around this guy? I feel like it has something to do with rewindy time powers. Um, it doesn't let me- oh, now it lets me run. Um, can we get around, like, this way or something? We've already been back this way. Hello, squirrel. Uh, there has to be... Okay. Okay, guys, I'm gonna cut to when I figure this out. Because I'm probably just being really clueless. Max the ninja strikes again. Okay, guys, um... I think I even... I think I just rewinded to before he came out of the flippin' house. Oh, okay. So anybody that wants to know how to do that, um, I, I did. Oh, I did right. My right's and my left's. Um, just rewind past when he's even there, because he's trying to get into his house and he's too drunk to get in, uh, so he gives up and sits on the front just drinking his, his bourbon. <laughs> so just rewind to the point where he's still trying to get into his house and then just walk by. <laughs> Seriously. It, w it was that simple. Um, sometimes... Sometimes the obvious ones escape me.